Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. Does Ayurveda talk about like non-veg and eggs, though? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's all about uh, when uh, Ayurveda talks about these uh, hair, uh, different kinds of meat, different really? kinds of eggs, and everything in the uh, food. Uh, food, food. There is a uh, uh, um, attributes regarding the food. What okay. is the food used for? What is what is what is its benefits? Health benefits. So Ayurveda uh, perceives food as maha aushadha, aharam maha aushadham. It is the best medicine. Mm. Food is the best medicine. So there are so many aspect uh, that this particular meat is meant for this. Um, uh, God's meat is for this and has health benefits as well. Wow. So Ayurveda is vegetarian is a misconception. Do you want to talk a little bit about this non-veg aspect in Ayurveda? I believe, huh. I mean, the little I know is that, and I know this because I have a mutton-loving uncle of mine who always brings this up. They say that mm. uh, if you have a very bad fever, mm. then some mutton soup or something is recommended according to Ayurveda. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? It's, uh, I can, I'll just uh, say about the facts that uh, Ayurvedic text has mentioned regarding the mutton you say. Uh, it, but it's totally your choice. Uh, Ayurveda sure. is not insisting that you should take this. Mm. It is just giving you, this food has these attributes. Mm. Okay. This is beneficial for this. Okay. It's not commenting upon that we should use these things. So uh, what they say is that um, uh, God is a very, uh, what to say, uh, it's very uh, energetic, anim an energetic animal mm. and uh, it uh, it goes on eating um, fresh leaves. Mm. What they eat mm. uh, is fresh leaves and uh, it um, uh, it's very bouncy. So that meat is very lakhu. Lakhu means very light, easily digestible and yet... Um, very uh, health enhancing. Really? That's what they have mentioned about. Means it in text it's mentioned. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Do they write about poultry or fish? Yes. So many uh, mentioned. Uh, for example, I, if I something gets to my mind is regarding the prawns. Prawns, no? Uh, it's called chili chima in I uh, in Sanskrit. So it it is meant to uh, disrupt all the tridoshas. Oh, it, really? Yes, it can cause you. You might have heard many people's developing some kinds of sensi sensitivity after having prawns yeah. and uh, allergies, skin reactions. Mm. It's mainly because it's mentioned in Ayurveda. It's tridosha kopak. That is, it 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 provokes tridoshas. Like it messes up your dosha. Yes, messes up your dosha instantly. So all in all, you shouldn't eat prawns according to Ayurveda. Not it. It is there. This concept is there. Uh, uh, it it actually means you shouldn't stick on means you shouldn't go to uh, these uh, items while you're selecting it's Damn. just giving it, it, information Ayurveda will never say listen don't eat this it'll just tell you listen it'll mess up your doshas now you do what you want yeah wow That's all. it's your choice do you have any other interesting non-veg angles so many actually because uh, there are we we can't even relate to what kind of fish is this this because there are so many names with certain properties mentioned and also viruddhahara concept in ayurveda uh, where we can see that you shouldn't eat chicken with curd that's very prevalent here as in bad food combinations yes bad food combinations okay so exact what is the result we that i said we can't perceive it in a instance but these are causing damage to the gut and uh, other systems it in what the basis of viruddhahara is toxicity short term as well as long term toxicity it might bring in that is the basis of viruddhahara uh, mixing with uh, there are certain um, combinations mentioned in ayurveda where you shouldn't use that is some don'ts this combination. Sometimes they say that uh, with a particular kind of um, wood, you should not mix a cooking item with that particular wood, wood ladle. Damn. Yeah, that is the kind of information we get about uh, Virudhahara. Uh, usually we need to follow because okay. uh, this can uh, directly impact you in the level of toxicity. Is there a book or, you know, uh, an author who's written about all these things? There are so many books actually. Okay. Uh, these are actually, uh, the, these knowledge we get while studying Ayurveda because uh, it's in Charaka Samhita, in Sharangadara Samhita, 
it's okay. a treasure of knowledge okay is regarding there food we a book i am not able to suggest i don't get okay. in yeah maybe but maybe there I'm... are books available that can give you insights about the uh, dietary aspects of ayurveda okay charak samhita and uh, in general in ashtanga hridaya charak samhita shargadara samhita okay so many texture uh, literatures available okay uh, it's it's the basis of ayurveda Okay. where the uh, principles concepts preparation of medicine everything is talked about about diseases their remedies new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe